Welcome to the first episode of Amy McGeechee's House Guests. We're going to talk spring cleaning today. Now, cleaning is something you want to do all the time, but we're often motivated in the spring. It's beautiful weather, we're switching out from the winter, and it's time to get rid of all that grime. I've got some amazing guests with me here today. I've got Robin and Monica from Mint Cleaning Service. Welcome! Hi! Yeah, <laughs> thanks, so, thanks so much for having us yeah, on. So exciting. <laughs> you guys are the experts on all thing cleaning and somehow you make it fun and trendy. On your Instagram account, people watch and they get motivated by what you're doing through all your tips and it's just so cool to see. Aw, thanks. Yeah, that's definitely one of our goals is like so many people struggle with cleaning and we definitely want it, but they think of it as a as a dreaded chore, but yeah. we definitely want to make it more um, lighthearted. It's so and serious. Fun. Like it's always had this yeah. serious, but it's like, we're always joking around. We have like so much fun doing it and just kind yeah. of making it more lighthearted. And it feels like people say that they're like, I actually want to clean now. Yeah. And it's just like, yeah. that's how it shouldn't be such a, such a dreaded thing. Yeah, exactly. Sure. Yeah. And there's lots of humor in it too, believe me. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Yeah. Well, I love your dynamic as well. It's just sort of, you guys are these cool girls doing this thing. And I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Old moms. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Tired moms. How did you get here? Was this something that you, since you were little, just wanted to have a cleaning business? No. Absolutely. Absolutely not. My so... nickname was Dirt Pig Girl. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I was... yeah. Talk to my family. They'd be like, this is literally the last thing that yeah. they'd see me doing. <laughs> Um, but how we got here basically, so I was um, working in the service industry for over 25 years. I was managing restaurants and, um, I got pregnant with twins and wow. <laughs> yeah, I know pretty a big surprise there. So, um, obviously I couldn't go back to those hours. I couldn't go back to that job. Um, and so I was just kind of thinking, I need something like flexible hours, part-time. And I was cleaning a little bit while I was on mat leave and I absolutely loved it. I couldn't believe how much it was like a break from like the chaos at home. And I could just put my podcast in, listen to good music. And it was kind of a workout at the same time. Um, so I just loved it. And I was just thinking, well, there's lots, there's a big need in our town for cleaners. And I was just like, I'll just do that part time. Let's and go then, back for one second because you guys yeah. are in Euculet. And for any yeah. of the viewers that don't know about the West Coast of British Columbia, it yes. is a primo <laughs> destination. You have surfing and all sorts of amazing vacation rentals there. So right. cleaning. Yeah. Yeah. Big need. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, and so I can just let Monica fin like take it no, over no. here. Keep going. Well, no, <laughs> just, and, uh, well, and then Monica yeah. is kind of in the same, same boat. We actually met for the first there time. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. And now we, we like we to met. talk over each other. <laughs> <laughs> we met for the first time. We were just at this kind of mom hangout and I hadn't met Robin. She just, yeah. she was living in Tofino and had just moved to Yukulit. And right away I was drawn to her. She's like tall and so funny. Oh, and, uh, oh. and it was, was like, friendship at first sight. Yeah, totally. <laughs> and then we just totally, we started like joking right away and making fun of ourselves. And then um, some, we started talking about like, what are you going to do after Matt leave? We both had like, I have three kids, she has two kids. And we're like, I was like, well, I was actually thinking of maybe helping some friends out. I know their cleaners are leaving with some vacation rental cleaning just part time. I can even like carry my baby on my back and do it or whatever. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and then, uh, she was kind of like, weird, I'm kind of doing that. And then a bunch of the moms piped up that all had Airbnbs and they're like, are you guys actually serious? Would you yeah. mean, can we, and then we were like, it was just this weird, overwhelming moment. And we were like, well, maybe we go for a walk and yeah. kind of talk about this tomorrow. We, we can do this together. And honestly, like it's such a small town that by the next day, my phone, I was getting like text and emails. Yeah. Like, I hear you're starting a cleaning business. And I was like, okay, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's do this. Yeah. It kind of like started off and then we both can't say no to people. So it was just the two of us and we had like 30. Yeah. We already had <laughs> so a wait list we were like, the first uh, month. So then we just started hiring. We just put it out there yeah. and bought a bunch of really good vacuums and some yeah. products. It just took just, off. It just took off. It, it was really the weirdest flowed. Thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it was like, a lot of people were suggesting, oh, you know, you don't know her. Do you really want to get into a business with someone you don't Yikes. know? Yeah. And I was like, absolutely. Like, it just felt so right. Like, okay. I, I, not, yeah. you know, full not, trust. Full yeah, it was yeah. just immediate. Like, it was. Yeah, yeah you, I you definitely know, you know. scoped her out, too. And that's a bastard. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Totally. Oh, it's geez. like a first date. Like, <laughs> yeah. Tell me about this person. But. Totally. Well, it's funny because I've known Monica for a really long time. She's actually yeah. the little sister of one of my good friends. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like I know you, Robin, because I watch all your Instagram <laughs> stories and videos. But um, yeah. so Amy's COVID. Amy's always a really cool one that my sister and I, like, whenever you came to our Jake Fest saying, we're like, Amy's so hot and cool. Just, <laughs> just, just <laughs> you know. <laughs> so this is really cool. 
for me to <laughs> be on here today. Thanks. Yeah. Um, one thing I really enjoyed, I'm so proud of you guys. COVID was a huge pivot point for your business. Right. Yes. So this during that how- time, that's where I really noticed the Instagram presence and then yes. the introduction of your own cleaning products. Yes. So we were like, so this is about three years ago that we had started leading up to COVID. So we were just running our, our cleaning company, super busy, like staff of up to 12 in the summers and things are going well, all that kind of stuff. And then, yeah, it was totally that like right around March is when we get really busy again with vacation rentals. And then it was just kind of like shut down, it shut down. But yeah. right before then I'll let Robin talk because right before then it kind of cues into it. What was she? Was well, we, yeah, we were, um, I was having some health issues and, um, I think Monica was a little bit as well, like mm-hmm. skin issues and eczema <laughs> and my asthma was just getting really bad. And just like having an overall, overall feeling of feeling unwell, um, so I went to the doctor and they actually did an x-ray on my lungs and they found scarring on my lung and I've never smoked a day in my life. And I just kind of put two and two together and like, Hey, I'm using these chemicals all You're day, using the worst every stuff, day. Right? I yeah. was using yeah. bleach and, um, mm-hmm. all this, you know, brand names yeah. that, you know, but, um, yeah. and I just was <laughs> like, this moment can't be good for me just kind of like thinking my health, this is what I'm going to be doing as my career. Yeah. Um, I want to switch over to some safer products. And then, so we already had that in our head of like, this is something that we really want to be doing. Mm-hmm. Um, and then COVID hit. And then it kind of just came out of like, well, we're at home. We're kind of bored. Let's just start playing around with some recipes. And um, that's kind of how it's the product line started. Well, I um, remember you guys were actually sharing the recipes on your Instagram account. And I think I remember messaging Monica and being like, okay, that sounds like a lot of work. Can you just do it and send it to me? And a couple of people did say that. They're like, would you ever just make it? Yeah. And and then came like the scrub is really where it it started. I I have like bad insomnia. So one night I was so excited. Like again, when the products we met with the local, like the Den girls who we love. And um, I had just kind of got a bunch of these kind of all natural ingredients and I was just Googling what you can mix and different things. And then I just started like, honestly, just like mixing stuff up at 3 a.m. and like made this weird like powder. And I was like, <laughs> so I kind of went and then the next day is more of a powder. I'm like, cool. And then I just kind of like used it and I was like, holy, this, yeah, sorry, I'm a sore. Yeah, this yeah. works so good. And then gave it to Robin and then I get this text later. It was like, dude, oh my <laughs> what God, is this what is stuff? this? I'm like, like I don't even know. This is like, too good to be true. Like, yeah. So yeah. And then yeah. on our Instagram, we were doing a bunch of like before and after and just showing this weird and everyone's like, what, <laughs> what well, is Well, let's that? talk about it for a second. Like, how does it work? Is it a bit of the abrasion effect, but then it also okay. is the interaction with the chemicals? Yeah, I can show you. So this it has it right here. a big thing that we found. Um, what we love is hydrogen peroxide. Like we hate bleach. So we're like switch over. And then the den had this like powdered hydrogen peroxide, which I hadn't heard of before. And just using that alone, I was like, this stuff is insane. Like it's yeah. so concentrated, but it's really expensive. So I was looking for a way to kind of like expand it safely and like with other really mm-hmm. good cleaning things that would make it, you know. And um, so that's honestly that I would say the key in there is the r- really rare powdered hydrogen peroxide. It's really hard to get. Usually if you get it, it's in like a mixture with something else. So, mm-hmm. um, so that's like, that would be probably the key I would say. Yeah. And then just like, we also add, there's also surfactants in there. So it has like degreasing agents. So it can yeah. also be used in the kitchen. So it's like, you know, kitchen, you want like that dish soap or those degreasers. So yeah. it's very versatile, versatile, versatile. <laughs> versatile. Cause it's uh, like, it can be used for laundry stains because it's got the hydrogen peroxide in there and other things. I don't say all the things in it, but yeah. Um, so yeah, Trade just, secrets. it's like, literally we're like looking at it like, this can actually be used everywhere. Like it's yeah. safe mm-hmm. and it's like, works like a stove top sinks um yeah you, you think of it like a really eco-friendly comet like a powder <laughs> without damaging any of the surfaces totally. Totally. Without, you know. i have to say my favorite thing about it is the scent you nailed the scent i just stand there and smell my my mint scrub <laughs> Yeah. Well, the, the scents on their own, like when I was looking up ingredients for cl- good bathroom cleaners and stuff, it was like the tea tree oils and peppermint oils and stuff like that and lemon that are all really mm-hmm. actually also aid in the cleaning. But then the smell combo, I was like, yeah, I almost wanted to eat it. And my kids would help me make it in the kitchen. And they're just like, can we eat this? And like, I was like, no, no, no. Like, You'll so, need it. Yeah. But, um, yeah. And so, I just, yeah. I, and just to parlay off that is um, I found that Cleaning products, when you go and buy cleaning products, they're just like not pretty. They come mm-hmm. in like kind of ugly packaging when you're down like the grocery store. I'm like, there should be a market to have like prettier mm-hmm. cleaning products. So sitting on your counter, yeah. you use them every day. 
um, why not have them like smell really good, work and kind of look nice. So that's kind of our, our vision for totally. how we wanted our uh, yeah. new products to look. Um, and so they're in beautiful glass bottles. Yeah. You can refill them. Um, I love our packaging. And so it's just, yeah. Kind of, kind and be, before we even yeah. package it before all that with this, when we were just making this job, we just kind of jokingly put some in Mason jars and on our Instagram again, I was just like, I made some extra yeah. scrub. If anyone's trying, this was after we're doing the videos and it was within seconds, they were sold out. Yeah. And we were kind of like selling them for like 10 bucks for a huge jar and then realized after it like costs more than that. <laughs> okay. So you, you've made all of this, you've come up with this beautiful branding. Now I want to talk about what the highlights have been so far, because somewhere in there you were in Chantilly magazine. Yeah. Yeah. And was- also featured with various different Instagrammers, like yeah. huge Instagrammers. Are we allowed yeah. to say her name? Jillian Harris and all her, yeah. her <laughs> famous family are actually yeah. talking about you guys and your products. Right. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of where we feel most vulnerable with this business is reaching out to influencers, but we know that it works. And I follow a lot of influencers and I think, you know, when they see something that they're, they're, they recommend, I'm like, Oh, maybe I should buy that. So I, I know personally that it does work and we are really proud of our products. So we just kind of threw it out being like, Hey, would you like to try these products? Blah, blah, blah. Kind of telling our story. And some of them are, we never heard back. And then some of, <laughs> some of them like, sure. And so yeah, it's, in, it's just, this, it's this, yeah. like we learn as we go and I would never have known, like we yeah. started, so the Chatelaine thing happened for just our cleaning side of the business. And then Robin's sister-in-law was like, you guys should really start an Instagram account. Like that's pretty big. you know. Mm-hmm. So yeah. like, okay. And then again, flash forward. So we're kind of doing these, like just mm-hmm. starting cleaning. Then we're starting kind of like showing our products and then um you don't read like I wouldn't have known this but advertising now because there's not as much tv and yeah. so like, that advertising is is instagram and influencers. yes we don't, see like, you guys we love right. you we love the products yeah. and the other people that we love and follow are using them as well so it's an interesting kind of thing that I would never have known like getting into this so we're learning yeah. so much as we go too where yeah yeah and well so Jillian hair story like when we very first started and we still had half of our stuff in like homemade yeah, packaging she was staying watched. in Tofino and Robin's like oh, they're staying at Pacific Sands I'm gonna go drop off a bundle <laughs> for Jillian Harris I was like no and I was like okay do it no it's so embarrassing <laughs> okay do it. and then she's driving and she's calling me she's like I'm telling just we're such losers like, she's like I'm so nervous and then she gets to the parking lot uh, you can tell yeah I guess the, and her um like brother-in-law's at I know the her brother-in-law from, from, yeah. from, I recognize and he was just at the front desk with the kids and I just go up I'm like Hey, <laughs> I was just like, basically told our story and blah, blah, yeah. blah. Here's the basket. Can you <clears throat> give this to Jillian? And he was so nice. He was like, of course. And like, I'm like, yeah, thank you. And then I was like, just dying on the whole car ride home. <laughs> and, um, and sure enough, she got the package and she did post on her stories yeah. and that, and that really kickstarted if Jillian if you're listening I don't think you are but if you are we love you <laughs> we act like she uh, and that us. sort of kickstarted our um our Instagram because it we, was we about got a thousand followers got in in the, yeah. in the 24 hour of her doing her story yeah. just being like all oh, these girls dropped us off and take us and yeah. then showed our stuff it was like 24 hours and it was crazy yeah. and so that was kind of she we do we, we love Julian for that it's just like she kind of kickstarted started the whole a bigger following thing. and then that just totally. the bigger following you get then you just start noticing yeah. like oh now you're getting more and more and mm-hmm. and yeah. then they just taught us too that the influencer thing again we're sending it to other influencers yeah. and them kind of showing on their stories and you just you know it, it works it's yeah. um it's been really it's and and we've met some amazing people along the way and like some too. of them like are just so genuine to and actually love them and they're like yeah. I actually want refills like <laughs> and I'm like okay like so it's it's like uh, I feel like it is genuine too though it's well and just- I think that's what people love about you guys too is that you're so genuine you have children yeah. life is chaos and you show that as well as the beautiful Instagram side of things I mean you have the therapeutic appeal of scrubbing out shower tracks and yeah. that sort of thing but then we also see that you know it's not glamour every day no no and that's like us too like we're so like we still have our cleaning business we still have to make money like the product's not fully there yet like it's our dream and like if you know Mm -hmm. like obviously we want to make that happen but we still have chaos like we still have 
We still yeah. have bills to pay. We're still like, yeah. like you said, moms. We're we in got, the thick of it. We yeah, are. Yeah, kids we're, between the two of us. Yeah. Like we're, we're in like the trenches of life and crazy. But I think that's a good time for moms because you're like sleep deprived and weird and have weird energy. So it's also like you're, <laughs> you're so like, busy. Just tack on more. Yeah, like. <laughs> exactly. If you want something done, give it to a busy person. That's totally. what my mom always said. A lot of people, when they have cleaners coming into their home, they think that you guys are going to judge them on how disgusting yeah. they are or how disgusting their family is. And I know a lot of people that's spend fun. a day cleaning before before the cleaning service comes in. Is that something that you guys recommend? Is it actually beneficial or? Uh, well, we've actually done, we've actually done like a blog post on this. I, and I hear you with that. Uh, so many people are like, oh my God, I need to clean for the cleaner. They're going to mm -hmm. judge me. And I just like to tell everybody we've seen it all. And if you're We're grosser than anyone, yeah, if you're hiring a house cleaner, um, you obviously need the help and we don't mm -hmm. want to put any more stress on you. Mm -hmm. So we say, what should we do before a house cleaner comes for us personally? Do nothing, mm -hmm. do what you want. Yeah. If you want us to, you're paying for our time. If you want us to come in and tidy your kids' toys and do your dishes from the morning, just because you had to rush to get at the door just leave yeah. it um that's just kind of like we that's understand how yeah. how busy it is and we need to go and clean up the house before we come in there yeah you don't want it to be as stressful i yeah. guess i'd be like somebody getting a massage and them stressing out before a massage it's, it just shouldn't it, it's yeah. a treat or whatever it is for some people it's a necessity for some people it's like yeah and um it's it's their time so they're paying for it so i, I like if people want deeper cleaning then they're probably going to make sure everything's kind of tidied up yes. and they want it so it's it's basically like that and we don't want to speak for all cleaning companies yes. i know some have rules where they want things tidy they want things off the floor so that us personally you kind of have to work that out with your cleaner what their communication is yeah huge. like yeah. for us we're just like it i actually feel bad when i go to a house and i can tell they pre-cleaned i'm like oh like, yeah <laughs> It makes me feel bad because yeah. I'm like, don't oh, pre-clean. Like, I want to see it how it is. You know? Well, and the before and afters on Instagram aren't quite as dramatic then either. No, well, exactly. We need the content. Now. Yeah. And like a lot of our content is like move out cleans and bigger cleans yeah. too. We try not to, um, we obviously with like house cleans, if they're like, use my house's content, like people are so cool. We always ask it. their permission. Course, right. yeah. and, um, <laughs> some people I can tell just wouldn't really want it. So I don't even bother. So that's yeah. the thing. We could have so much more. Some, a lot of our staff too will send us pictures and I'm like, ah, I don't know if, if you can yeah. kind of tell whose house it is or yeah. it's too personal. Right. And, yeah. But, so we, we try to, we rein it in a bit. Like we could be like, yeah. yeah. So let's talk a little bit about some tips of the trade because you guys have specific tools that you would recommend. I mean, that denture brush, I hope denture you get royalties brush. from it. I know. Our, our pharmacy in town laughed. I was buying some the other day. She's like, I don't know what's going on. Everyone's buying these denture brushes. And I was like, That's so, so what makes them so good? It's the, the stiffness of the bristle and the size. And then it has that other tip too. So on the backside, it has like a tiny little tip. So for grout or corners or anything like toothbrushes are great, but they're a bit, they can be a bit Soft. softer too and a bit small and not yeah. as so the denture brush just is almost tough enough for even grout and stuff like that. So it, it just has a bit of a tougher feel in the size and it's just durable. They stay strong for a long yeah. time too. Like toothbrushes I find after a while they, yeah. and I just reuse like our fan, like I'm gross. I just like, wash our toothbrushes and use them in our cleaning <laughs> like you know so we reuse everything but yeah. our the denture brush has just been key to yeah key for to getting life. in all the nooks and crannies and around your sink all the corners and your dishwasher the tracks of your shower um yeah. We just, yeah, it's, it's, it's in every, life. all of our staff has like a denture brush. Yeah. Well, and I yeah. know, um, the microfiber cloths, I've ordered them from you guys. I love them. They're great for That's everything. Like, I don't them with an, any other cloth. Like I just, if I'm at someone's house and yeah. like doing dishes, like just helping, like, and they just have a regular cloth. I'm like, oh, oh the God. thing with microfiber cloths is like, they're super absorbent. So they are gonna, and they have that really soft, um, fiber. So it, a gives you a really great shine and yeah. B that dries, uh, it dries up really, really well. Yeah. Um, and I say, if you don't have microfiber cloths, the closest thing would be an old towel. Mm -hmm. So just cut up an old towel and that kind of works the same way. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, in microfiber cloths, which really isn't no comparison, but, um, and they last yeah. forever. So a lot of people, there's that debate. They're not like obviously not completely eco-friendly but um so you can always do debates on that kind of stuff and for us like we still have some of our microfiber cloths from what we started the business four years ago they're still kicking it in the big because we have massive amounts mm -hmm. obviously for our cleaning side and they last forever and they're they just yeah. they, you know they do the job we, we just end up using the older ones as more paper towels so instead of paper towel we're kind of using the mm -hmm. grimier ones that move out cleans for like the ovens and stuff like that so yeah. they have a really long lifespan so yeah. well and then yeah. one thing i know i've learned from your insta stories and such as well is that the vacuum that's oh, is that would you say is the key 
key to life is a pre vacuum for yes. sure. Yeah. Get a good vacuum, invest in a really good vacuum. That yeah. is our number, number one tip. Um, yeah. one that's going to last you a long time has all the attachments. Attachments are key. Um, <laughs> yes. And then the pre, the pre vacuum for anything, because our, you can't, you can't smear dust around. It's just going to turn into like a sloppy mess. So to have that pre vacuum, get all those little particles up totally. and it will just save you that much more time when we'll you actually still, start like, cleaning. Video pre clean, pre vacuuming yeah. in that fridge. And by now I think everyone's seen us do this a million times and it's not news. Yeah. And they're like, I've never thought of vacuuming out the fridge before. And I'm totally. like, yeah, there you go. So it always, I feel like when we do a video, there's always a couple of people that are yeah. just seeing it for the first time. And they're like, or the bathtub, like bathroom, a bathtub dusting. Dust, you have those little, um, the little brush Hair attachment. Brush, yeah. You know, dust the window sills, dust um, baseboards, yeah. everything. So, our vacuum. number one tip: <laughs> vacuum. Yeah, and having the proper tools. Totally. Well, I love all the videos that you guys share on Instagram too, like folding a fitted sheet and things <laughs> that actually are extremely challenging. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Sure. we did a funny video of like how most people fold a sheet. Yeah, it was yeah. like so ridiculous, <laughs> but. Anyway, we do like to make fun of ourselves. And just too. we like to do the cute little fold, towel folds. And again, we just kind of did it not thinking that's always how we set up our vacation rentals, little fun things. And then you just don't even know we post one and it just gets so many like people commenting stuff. They're like, oh, I love that. And then so that's even now we tend we have like our fun folds Friday now because just because it gained a lot of like yeah. kind of attention. So now on Fridays, we do either like toilet roll folds or towel tool folds. Yeah. And, Things that we don't even, we're just so used to doing them. We don't think much of it. And then people are like, exciting stuff. I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we are, we're getting close to the end. So I'm just going to oh, throw a um, uh, viewer question at you. Um, sure. One of them was, if you could only clean one thing during the week, what would it be that would make your week better? Uh, What's the one I, thing? Well, <clears throat> I can't go to bed with a dirty kitchen. So if you can get your t kitchen cleaned, but that's kind of like a daily thing. Mm -hmm. I would be like the, the once a week thing. I would probably go with bathroom. Right. Um, it's the most important room in your house. <laughs> and Everybody the grimiest. And, um, yeah. yeah. I would be like, we like to clean our bathrooms I on love, Monday, I on love Mondays. So yeah. if you can just dedicate one day just to get your bathroom clean um, and it does get really grimy over time and it gets harder to do. So give your, give your bathroom a little quick wipe. And be yeah. an we have, yeah. we have a lot of bathroom. Like we have a, we make our own checklist too, that you can print up on our website and Mondays are always bathroom days. And we have in our highlights so much bathroom content. Cause I think it is like, it's my favorite room to clean. I find it so satisfying. Yeah. And um, we have lots of like recipes for bathroom cleaning and just, like shower yeah. sprays and soap scum and all the stuff that it is one of our biggest questions is often bathroom things. So, yeah. But and so I like love cleaning a toilet over like, you know, yeah. I don't know. I just like, it's satisfying. And we're at the end, but if people want to find out more and where can they find you? Um, they can find us on, <laughs> they can find us on Instagram, um, at mint cleaning underscore, or you can also find us on our website, www.mintcleaningservice.com. And they can order your products online as well. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. throw us a message if you want to say hi. Yeah. Well, thank yeah. you guys so much for being on the show today Yay. and being our first house guests. Oh, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Hopefully this has motivated everybody to do a little spring cleaning. Yeah.